doing the dirty, but I didn't realize that my mom was home. My mom was supposed to be at work, but apparently she came home early because she felt sick. So while me and my neighbor are upstairs full on doing the dirty, my mom is downstairs making lunch. That's when the door blasts open and it's my mom holding my lunch. We have no clothes on on my bed. There was no way my mom was gonna buy that we were just hanging out. My mom throws the plate of food at my neighbor. He tries to call my mom down and tells her that he's in love with me. By the way, I was not in love with him. I mean, I liked him, but I wasn't in love. I didn't know what to do, so I just started to cry. Suddenly, my mom calmed down. I have no idea what got into her, but she politely asked him to put on his clothes and leave. As he was getting dressed, my mom told him not to tell his mom anything, that we would keep this a secret. Once he leaves, my mom confesses to me that his mom and her are in a relationship. So off, I didn't even know that my mom swung that way. Then she asked me if I loved him. I had to lie and tell her that I did so that she wouldn't find out the truth, that I only did it with him so that he could break up with his girlfriend to be with me. My mom gave us her blessing so that he and I could go out. Like I said, this was 10 years ago. Of course, he and I are no longer together, but my mom is still with his mom. So I see him all the time. He still begs me to be with him. I just broke up with my boyfriend, so I think I might give him a chance now. I mean, I did lose my V card to him, but he cheated on his girlfriend to be with me. And he's clingy. Do you guys think I should give him a chance? Story time about my mom caught me doing it with my neighbor. Once he started kissing me, we could not stop. I knew he had a girlfriend and I wanted to steal him away from her. So I thought, why not just do it with him so that he would leave her and be with me? That's when I took off his shirt, he took mine off, and things went from there. Let me just remind you that our moms are downstairs sleeping on the couch. Our hearts were racing and we were trying to do it as quickly as possible. By the way, I'm still a virgin at this point, And I just decided right then and there that I would just do it with him. I was being reckless as hell. That's when I hear footsteps coming up the stairs. We jump off each other and we just pretend we're talking. It was his mom coming to tell him that they were going home. My plan worked though. He started messaging me nonstop. And he even blew off his girlfriend that same week to be with me. He told him we could do it the following day if our moms weren't home. His mom went out to run some errands. So I asked my mom to go run me an errand evil much i told him to come over and it happened and no it was not good it was actually terrible neither of us knew what we were doing and it hurt like hell but after that he was obsessed anytime my mom left my house he would try to come over one of the times he came over he asked me if he should break up with his girlfriend and i said yeah you probably should duh he literally called her right then and there and told her that he didn't want to be with her anymore then he turns to me and asks me if i want to be his girlfriend just to make him more obsessed i said no i told him i wasn't ready for a relationship then he started begging he couldn't believe i said no but this is when we both mess up we start doing it part three is up story time about my mom caught me doing it with my neighbor this all happened 10 years ago i was one seven years old okay here's the thing my dad had left my mom and i for another woman so i was always desperate for like male attention and looking back this is so terrible especially for a teenage girl new neighbor had moved in that summer and let me tell you i was obsessed from the moment i saw this boy I became so obsessed because his window was right across from mine it was like a movie he would see me changing i would see him changing of course i never told my mom and then my mom actually became friends with his mom so they started coming over for dinners and they were both single moms so they connected on that too now this boy didn't go to my school though so we basically only saw each other whenever we were home okay here's where things get messy he had a girlfriend at his school this did not stop him from flirting with me he would stand in his window changing and because he would come over to my house he'd come up to my room and we'd just hang out both of our moms had a little too much wine one night and he came up to my room and closed the door as soon as he closed my door i knew something was gonna happen he asked me if i wanted a back massage and i was like yeah as he's giving me this massage he starts asking me why i don't have a boyfriend and that's when i told him that i'm probably gonna get a boyfriend very soon which is a total lie see i don't like anybody at my school and that's when he told me that he would be really jealous if i got myself a boyfriend so i turned around and told him but you have a girlfriend so you have no business getting jealous that's when he grabbed my face and started kissing me. We made off for like half an hour while both our moms are passed out on the couch downstairs. I knew I needed to snatch him away from his girlfriend. What I did next is crazy. Go to part two. You really had me out here thinking I was mid. Like I wasn't that gas, like I wasn't that fire, like I wasn't that za. Are you crazy? Well, let me reintroduce myself. Snatch! match with a murderer on tinder this claim is not my story time all of this happened two years ago and if you are on a dating app please be careful i matched with this really really cute guy on tinder he said he was a doctor and he had all of these pictures to back it up so i completely believed him when he said he was an oncologist i was 22 at the time and i realized that we did have a big age gap you see he was 36 we talked on tinder for a couple of days and then we moved over to text message and he was so charming he was reciting poetry to me we even discussed the movie pride and prejudice looking back now he asked me all of my favorite things 
And from there, he started talking to me about my favorite movies, my favorite actors, favorite foods. I mean, he even sent me recipes. He was perfectly charming in every single way. He finally asked me out on a date and we went to a beautiful, expensive dinner. The restaurant was right by a river. Then he surprised me with the boat ride on the river. The date was magical, almost too good to be true. Then things just got really strange. He was texting me nonstop for two days, asking me how I was, literally asking me what I ate for dinner, all over me. That's when he shows up unannounced to my apartment and he's carrying a huge duffel bag. I mean huge and super heavy and he tells me that his apartment flooded and that he didn't have anybody else to stay with essentially asking me if he could stay at my place i really didn't know if i should but i thought what's the worst that could happen we already went on a date i told him he could sleep on my couch but that nothing would happen between us he agreed and promised that he wouldn't try to make any moves on me he comes in puts his bag down and just starts making dinner in my kitchen he made soup and a beautiful salad when i tried the soup it tasted horrible the first thing that ran through my mind was oh my gosh did he put something in this but i couldn't believe that that would even be a possibility we watched a movie and then i went to bed i went wake up to banging on my door at two in the morning. Do you know how scary that is? He yells, I left my phone in there. I need to get it out. Then I realized, hold on a second. You didn't even come into my bedroom. First, I pretended to be asleep just to not have to open, but then he kept banging louder. And then his voice got angry. He said, I know you're awake. Just let me in. I finally said, sorry, I'm not going to let you in. You're acting strange. Then he laughed and said, oh my gosh, stop being so dramatic. Just let me in. But I did not. I didn't tell him, but I called the cops. Luckily, I lived two minutes away from the police station. He did not know this. I went into my bathroom and told the cops to come right away for the next two minutes he went silent i pressed my ear to the door i could hear him unzipping something putting stuff down and suddenly he starts banging on the door again that's when the cops knock on my door and he goes to open 10 seconds later the cops knock on my door and tell me it's safe to come out but the cop says be prepared for what you're about to see i open my door and there on my living room floor there's a plastic tarp knives handcuffs whips apparently this guy had been terrorizing women all around town but fortunately he had not unalived anybody he would essay them and then tie them up and do things but none of these women had reported him except for me he went to prison and called me apologizing. Be careful out there. Story time about how my husband stole my dog because I told his family that he's gay. Disclaimer is not my story time. My husband and I had been married for six months before I realized he was gay. The way I found out is horrendous. Husband, almost ex, he has a gardening business. This means he works with a lot of guys. The guys that he started hiring were all very young, very attractive. Obviously, I didn't care because I never thought that he would be gay. Well, I come home one day early from work, only to find him and three other guys on the couch doing different things to each other. I was horrified. I was seriously triggered and traumatized. You see, I had been essayed by two boys when I was in college, so walking into this literally made me vomit. Even got flashbacks. What did my husband do? The man kicked me out of the house. He closed the door on me. So I proceed to start ringing the doorbell. So I decide to call 911 and say that there's two intruders in my house, which I mean there are. By the time the police come, they're all dressed up. Of course, it was my word against theirs. The police told me that all I could do was get a divorce. At the time, I had a two-month-old puppy. My husband didn't really like the puppy. He was a lot of work, but it was my responsibility. After I caught him, I ran straight to his mom's house and spilled the beans. His mom and dad were furious. They called him, but he wouldn't answer his phone. Called my sister and she told me that I should just go live with her. I go home to grab my things and my puppy, but my puppy is nowhere to be found. That's when my husband told me that he probably ran away. This man refused to help me look for him. I'm filing a divorce, but it's been a month since I saw my puppy, and I know the puppy's somewhere in the house. My husband doesn't let me back into the house though, and the cops were absolutely no use. I'm planning on breaking in. I mean, what should I do? Give me advice. Story time about how I caught my dad doing the dirty with my neighbor. My lying, cheating father helped me move into my new apartment. I have to be honest and say my dad is narcissistic. He's always been selfish, thinks he's always right. There's just no way to reason with him when he's wrong. My sister and I are very tight with my mom. We will always side with her. By the way, my parents are still married. They've been together for 37 years. My sister's 30 and I'm 22. I recently landed my dream job. And this meant that I needed to find an apartment closer to my job. So I moved about half an hour away from my parents. My dad travels for work a lot, which is the best. It means he's not home a lot. So I told my mom that she should move into my apartment with me. She said that she would think about it. My move-in day finally arrived. My mom and my sister had helped me pack and organize everything. My dad didn't all lift a finger, so I asked him to help me move all the boxes into my apartment. He said yes. The moment we get into my apartment, he sees a really pretty girl. And he just starts talking to her like I'm not even there. For some reason, this girl starts flirting back. I was appalled and disgusted. She then asked my dad for his phone number. What the heck? Part two is up. Story time about I caught my dad doing it with my neighbor. That's when my neighbor asked my dad for his number. I turned to her and I said, He's married to my mother, you know. And then I pushed my dad into the elevator. I instantly started to cry. I was embarrassed and mortified. How can I have a father like... I didn't know love till you arrived, babe. Was in the line, I know you like it. Cause I just know you're feeling this too. Yeah, this too. I live in on me, so I'm holding my time. Looking for love, baby, never I find. When I wanna love you, when I wanna stop time. 
time but i needed to sneeze first so give me a sec story time about how i got my boyfriend fired from his job because he had a girl co-worker i'm totally toxic this claim is not my story time instead of me on instagram let me start off by saying yes i do love my boyfriend i'm also extremely toxic and honestly he is too here's a little backstory we both met when we were dating other people in fact he was dating my best friend and i was dating his best friend i'm 18 and he's 19 so yeah we are a little immature but hey love is love after we met we started secretly hooking up and then finally we broke up with them now that we're together none of our friends speak to each other they've all sided with the other friend so he and i have been together for six months now he's extremely controlling he's always checking my snapchat my location always wants to know where i am so i started doing the exact same thing to him mostly out of spite then i realized he's a little sketchy he does not want me to have his location so i started blocking him on snapchat and instagram this drove him absolutely crazy so much so that he deactivated his instagram just so that i would feel more comfortable at first i was like omg he's so sweet he loves me but then i just realized this is another manipulation tactic on his part i needed a way to manipulate him even more he started coming to my house and announced my parents hated this they told him that he shouldn't be doing that anymore but he started talking bad about my parents to me obviously this is a big red flag for me i mean i can deal with the rest but talking bad about my parents hell no well i was furious with him he started telling me that my mom was crazy and that she was probably cheating on my dad and that that's where i learned to be a cheater too and then he started talking bad about my parents to his parents so his mom called me and asked me if i was okay with my parents guess what happens i show up to his job and there he is talking to a girl a pretty girl we both work at abercrombie and fitch can you imagine what she looks like so i had to get him fired to his Story time about how I got my boyfriend fired from his job because he had a girl co-worker. This claim is not my story time instead of me on Instagram. Well, I show up to his Abercrombie and Fitch job and I find him talking to a girl. Very pretty girl. I went insane. Pulled him aside and told him that he needed to quit right then and there. That if the tables were turned and I was the one talking to a really cute boy at my job, he would lose it and break up with me immediately. He started telling me that I was overreacting. I was being insecure. Me being insecure? Not him checking my phone every day. By the way, the girl was so nice to me. He came up to me later and said, you don't need to worry about anything. I have a boyfriend and I'm not interested in yours. I did appreciate it, but the way my boyfriend was talking to her was a no-no. So here's what I did. I waited for his shift to end, and I went straight into that Abercrombie and asked to speak to the manager. And that's when I made up the whole story. I told him that this boy that was working there was harassing me, and that he kept staring at me and grabbed my arm, which made me feel super uncomfortable and scared. And the cherry on top, I started to cry. And I told him that this wasn't the first time it happened, that the same boy had done it another time. The manager, of course, apologized right away. I left the store. Two hours later, my boyfriend calls me crying. He said that he got fired and he didn't know why that all the manager said was that his behavior was inappropriate and my boyfriend couldn't figure it out well he's never gonna find out that it was me that got him fired so i begged my dad to hire my boyfriend at his car shop and my dad did out of the kindness of his heart so i made my boyfriend eat all of his dirty words not only that but him working at my dad's car shop allows me to keep an eye on him at all times you see i have access to all the cameras and I also show up whenever I want. But here's the crazier part. Remember the girl that my boyfriend was talking to? She slid into my DMs and told me that I'm pretty. She even asked me to go on a date. I mean, should I? 